Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd. A habit of Allah, the question was asked, how many years do you advise to go and study Arabic in an Arabic country uh, to be able to sit with the ulama and understand their lectures? Uh, first and foremost, I'll say that the studying the Arabic language doesn't require that you go to an Arabic uh, country. Uh, in fact, you'll find programs in many different countries that are even not uh, Arabic speaking countries. For example, in Pakistan, in India, in various African countries, um, and also uh, Indonesia and, and all over all over the world and now you have access to Arabic online so that for number one is not a stipulation but if one's intent is to immerse themselves in the language and to understand the lectures of the scholars then Generally, what you find is a lot of the Arabic programs out there are for two years. And I've seen in places where that can be accelerated, uh, especially in places like Yemen and uh, like in Dar al-Hadith in Yemen, for example, some people, they went through the three Medina books in nine months. However, what I would say about some of those individuals is that they those nine months did not mean that they were very proficient in the Arabic language to understand um, all of what the, the scholars and sitting in Darus necessarily. <clears throat> so generally, I would say, even in a situation like that, if you study hard, maybe uh, in a place where you're immersed like that, then you will be able to, a good year and a half, I would say, is good for a person to begin to, to really kind of uh, begin to study uh, in various lectures of the ulama. And it also depends upon the subject matter. Obviously, higher levels of Arabic are required for higher levels uh, of sciences and uh, the various books. For example, you're not going to be sitting in a durus, uh, a dars, of maybe usul of fiqh in your beginning, um, your beginning in talab al ilm, especially beginning being a beginner with uh, the Arabic language, or qawaid fiqhia, or some other sign, or even probably tafsir, and if there's a lot of history in the tafsir, and you know you may sit and try to gain benefit, but you won't probably be limited in your understanding. So really, what I would say in general is that it's a process and the more you remember and reflect that it is a process learning ilm it's a process in learning the arabic language it's a process whatever everything in the in this dunya in fact is a process you don't get it doesn't come overnight so it's a process by continue continually practicing and a person will benefit so i would say that it's good there are programs if you go to Egypt, for example, and you only have a year, but you're in a year and you're in a strong institute and they have a strong pre program, which is, uh, has already proven to have, you know, they have a lot of experience in gaining results. Probably in a year you can understand, uh, you can get a lot accomplished in a, in a good year, as long as you're in a solid program and you don't deviate from that program. So that's what I can offer for general advice about that, about as far as length of time, that depends upon the person, depends upon their background. But in general, you're, you will probably require a year to two uh, to get some sort of competency. Uh, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best.